Hi everyone, welcome to PR2170 Project Management. I'm Paul Tilley and I'll be your instructor for this course. Project management is all about one of us. A project is something that starts, runs, and finishes once. And our job is to manage it as best as we can. So project management is all about managing these one offs So this course is designed to give you a general understanding of project management and the various stages of project. In it, you'll learn various techniques used to ensure the project is completed on time, within the budget, and with the highest quality possible. So we're going to be exploring various aspects of project management, such as the scope, how big it is, time, cost, quality, and internal communications within the project. And we'll use project management software to help manage projects. It will be a tool. So we're going to look at several pieces of project management software in this. The key topics are going to be defining the project, project scope, time management, cost management, quality management, human resource management, communications management, and finally, risk management. The textbook for this course is known as Project Management, the Managerial Process, 8th edition. Now, as you're moving into this, there might be a 9th edition available. That will be fine. Generally, the content is the same. You'll look at this course and you'll find all of the details for the course in the DL shell. And um, I have indicated there an introduction in the news, which you can read. And the main core of the course is found under content. And under content, you'll find course information, primarily a rundown of what I'm talking about here, and the assignments that the course requires you to do, plus all of the material. The schedule for this course is for 15 weeks. And you'll notice that I have it laid out here in terms of what we'll be doing each successive week. And I have some weeks grouped together but you can see that we'll be moving through over the course of the term. Readings, chapters, and units are indicated there, as well as when projects and midterms and finals are due. The evaluation for the course is pretty straightforward. We have three broad types of projects that are we'll be doing in this course. First of all, we're going to be doing unit assignments. And effectively, at the end of four of the course units, I have a... Um, an assignment, a short assignment, in which you're going to take the material that you talked about in that unit and apply it to some topic. So uh, developing a research proposal, breakdown structures, Gantt charts, and developing a project using uh, Word or Excel. So there are four of those. They're worth 5% each for a total of 20. There's also a term project that has two parts, part A and part B. And in that term project, you'll be working through all of the things that we're talking about in this course. So you can take a look at the term project. I'll discuss it further in a second. There are also two exams in the course, a midterm and a final. And I'll be discussing when they'll be held down in a second. The first uh, assignment that you're going to be doing in terms of a unit assignment is going out and looking at this whole concept of a request for proposals. Normally, when an organization needs to get a project completed, they need to be able to go out to professionals in the field, consultants, and ask them to consider doing. In order to do that, we do what's called a request for proposal. And this is something that every organization uses, and the intent of this is to get you familiar with the basic concept and the basic ingredients in a request for proposals. The second assignment will deal with something called a work breakdown structure. And you can think of work breakdown structure as the steps involved in a project. The work breakdown structure effectively takes a project and breaks it down into its component parts. And what I'm asking you to do here is to complete one of those for a sample project. The third assignment deals with something called a Gantt chart. And a Gantt chart is a tool that is used in order to be able to schedule or help understand or visibly show the schedule of the project. So we're going to be talking about Gantt charts, and there you're going to build one. In Unit 4, we're going to be using um, Excel, Word, as a tool in order to be able to complete a basic project. So we'll be looking at, at the how we set up 
planning, what I call pre-planning for a project, and that's what that assignment is really focused on. In terms of the term project, the term project is going to uh, have a major project that needs to, to move ahead. And you're going to, in part A, think about a potential project and put some of the key issues of that project down on paper. You know, the project history, the identifiable goals of the project, the approach that we're going to use, significant project constraints and limiting factors, and the basic resource requirements. So I'm going to ask you to develop a hypothetical project on which you can build from there. The part B of the project will take that and move it further where we actually deal with how do we make the project plan move forward. So we'll break down structures, the components of the project, responsibility assignments, these sorts of things will be done in part two, which is a bigger part of that term project. The midterm for the course uh, will be straightforward. It will cover units 1, 2, and 3 and be uh, 40 multiple choice um, true-false questions. It's worth 20% of the course grade and it will be written in February during the midterm exam period. The final exam written at the end of the course in April will be similar. It will be um, worth 30% of the course grade and have 35 multiple choice and 3 questions, so a 70-30 split. Complete the meet and greet. The meet and greet is there to give me an indication of who you are and allow everyone else to figure out uh, who's in class with them and what their interests are. Uh, the, the good value on this is I can look at what you're interested in and use what I post, uh, uh, judge what I should post in terms of topics and examples uh, accordingly. So if I know you're interested uh, generally, if people are interested in construction or technology or whatever. I can build my uh, build my uh, threads that I post in the news section around that. If you want to be able to keep up on this course, and you know, it is important to keep up on the course, you will be able to do that by going to the front of the course, which is really what I call the news section of the course. It's that front thing that you hit, front page that you hit when you come into a course, it's there, it sort of works like Facebook, uh, the newest stuff is up top, the older stuff's down bottom. I will be posting all kinds of course information right there. You need to come into the course on a regular basis to see that, and on Fridays I'll be posting updates on where we are and where we need to be uh, in the future. Finally, what I want to stress is the fact that my job as your instructor is to help you succeed. If you need to get a hold of me, and I encourage you, if you have questions to do that, please use the course email, and you can email me, and I assure you I'll get back to you as quickly as I can, and what I mean by that is within one day. If you don't hear back from me, assume that I've missed your email, because that has happened, and I want you to just email me again to remind me, but I will respond to every email, and I will respond to it as quickly as I possibly can within one working day. I'll be posting regular videos about once a week that covers the topics that we're looking at in that scheduled week. So look for them. Contact information is right here. If you have any questions, and when you have questions, I should say, please get in contact with me. And next week, I'll be posting Unit 1. So please keep an eye out, and we'll be talking about that. I'll be posting these regular videos every week with regards to the topics that we're covering.